Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Nikki here. And today we are doing part 19 of my series, 30 Ways to Decorate a Junk Journal, where we use scraps and magazine images and some freebies to create a journal nice and easily. So you can check out the playlist JJJ30 if you would like to catch up on the 18 previous episodes. And for our shaker card today, we are starting with a piece of packaging that has a fab color on the back. But of course, we do need to hide the branding. We're starting off with 15 centimeters by eight centimeters, and we are going to use a magazine page that had a pretty pale pink color that I've cut slightly smaller than the main tag, just so that when we glue everything together at the end, we've actually only got two pieces that have to stick together. So we end up with a nice clean finish. So I'm gluing this down with Uhu glue stick, magazine paper, and wetter glues tend to make things wrinkle and then they stretch and they don't look nice. So Uhu glue is definitely the easiest one to use. Our top piece is a piece of scrap where I have cut out a rectangle over to the left hand side because I wanted a little bit of space down the bottom for some deco later on. This cute little image is actually of a cafe and I thought I was just going to pop that on this tag as well. And so by placing the top bit down without gluing it, I can get a good idea of where I need to uh, add the cafe. Now, if you do decide to put some deco on there, glue it down well so that the sequins don't get caught underneath it. So now we're going to add my little scrap of vellum. Normally I would use padded double-sided tape because then sequins shake better in a shaker. But because I have such a thin edge over on the left-hand side, if I use the double-sided tape, I will never get it to seal properly when we put it all together. So I am just going to use normal double-sided tape. Thankfully, I have this nice thin one, which works perfectly. When you are filling around the edge, try not overlap it. It makes it very hard to lift off the backing plastic if you have your double-sided tape overlapping. So I'm sort of trying to cut it pretty neatly without that. And also put it in as close to the edge as possible so the sequins sort of don't disappear underneath. Then, of course, it can take three hours to get the plastic backing off double-sided tape because sometimes it keeps lifting up. This one was actually behaving rather well today. Then you just gently lay your vellum piece down doesn't matter if it's not a put down perfectly straight or anything. No one's seeing any of that. And voila, we have that done. Now, I have made up a little sequin mix. I've got some brown, copper, a bit of gold, a bit of pink. I'm not adding too much, again, because there's not much room for them to move. So we're just placing them right in the center as much as possible and then we're going to glue our top down trying to make sure we do we get nice and close on the inner edge so that all the sequins don't go hiding underneath the edge and then just very gently placing that on so that all the sequins actually stay in the center where I currently have them then just go over and over gently pressing down to try and create a really good seal of course i realized my bodgy hand cutting would require some uh, straightening up so we've just got to trim a little bit off and we see it still does shake it's just not as smooth but that's okay at least it's all gone together nice and firmly so i have a few cute little coffee things that i did cut out of a magazine and also a little scrap of pink doily which was absolutely perfect for what i needed for this project and we're just going to add 
a couple of little fun bits down in this bottom right hand corner. I realise my doily piece is a little bit bigger than I wanted it, so I'll let it overhang and I'll trim that off later. And then just a little bit of checking placement, but honestly, we're just going to pop these down. They're the cutest little images. I wish I had more of those. <laughs> I'd use them in spreads a lot. I love using coffee in my planner and my journal. Was going to add that little pink mug up there, but I think I'm going to go with the rule of three and just have three coffee items down in that corner. We're just trimming off that excess, and of course everything's gluey and sticky. I need to get a pair of those no-stick glue scissor things I have seen around. Now, this is a roll of pet tape. It's all cafe themed, which I bought off AliExpress, and there's this cute little cafe sign that I think I want to add to this tag. I do try and cut pretty close to the edge with these because these tapes, unfortunately, are shiny. So I don't want too much shine around it. So we've sort of got to get in nice and close. And we just gently peel the backing off. And I'm going to use my tweezers to try and get it nicely placed up in the top left-hand corner there. And then I decide that the top of the tag is looking a little bland. So I grab my little coffee bean stamp and my copper ink. And we're just going to stamp a few little coffee beans just to fill up that blank space there. letting them sit for a minute just to dry and then I think oh it's I need a little bit extra we're going to quickly just distress with a vintage photo around the edge just lightly not not too much but I just think it's looking a little little too pale and bland so we'll add a tiny little bit of just dress ink around the edge I think that does look better Oops, sorry, accidentally knocked my tripod. Now we just need to add a hole and then I found this perfect piece of sari silk, except I can't find it, so I go hunting for it and then I do find it. But it had, I thought the colours were an absolutely perfect match. It's sort of a, a dirty pale yellow and a pale pink, which I thought was ideal. I just use a pair of tweezers to pull it through. And voila, tag is finished. Very quick, simple, easy. And now, of course, we have to place it in our journal. I think that flap there is ideal. But we may, I think I better just glue down the bottom so that it doesn't just slide straight through. But otherwise, I think it's a perfect fit there. So just a little bit of glue and we've created an instant pocket with that folded over piece and I think that's a perfect home for my shaker. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Just another one showing you how easy it can be to make pretty things to decorate a junk journal. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, pop them down in the box below. And until next time, stay safe and stay healthy. And bye for now.